Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use a small little bit of JavaScript in order to put the current year in my copyright notice on my web page. So I've got this little paragraph here for copyright notice, and I want to put the current year in here. And I don't want to just type it in because then, you know, it's November, and the next thing you know, 2023 is going to come along, and I want to have that update automatically. So instead, I'm going to put a, a little span in here with ID equals C year. And I'll assume that can stand for copyright year, it can stand for current year, really doesn't matter. And what I'll do is I'll use some JavaScript to insert the current year right into there. So I'm going to head down here and I've just got a little chunk of script on the uh, end part of my body uh, for that page. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do a window, which is the, the browser window. And let's do dot add event listener. Let's go ahead and do this on load. So whenever the page loads up, that'll be the first parameter for the add event listener method. And let's actually just include a little baby function in here. I'm going to do an empty set of parentheses, which is going to represent the parameters for our function, which we don't have any. So that's going to be empty. And then I'll do an arrow function, so basically equals and then greater than sign. And then I'm going to have a set of curly braces. And in between these opening and closing curly braces is where we're going to write our little function. It's just a couple lines, really. I'm going to put a semicolon there. Don't technically need it, but I like to have that semicolon at the end of all those JavaScript statements. Okay, a couple things we have to do. First, I want to uh, declare a constant for where this year is going to go. So I'm going to use the const keyword. Year is going to be the name of the variable that I'm just making up. And this is going to be document.getElementById. And this is going to be the little ID right in that span tag, C year. So C year, that looks fine. And now we just have to display the, uh, we have to get the year basically. So I'm going to say year, which is the variable that I just created, the constant. And let's see, dot enter HTML. That's the property for that constant. This is going to be equal to a new date object. So we're going to use the date object. However, there's a there's a date method we can use here. Dot get full year. Semicolon. So basically, I want to do get full year. And since my page is actually auto saving and then my uh, it's auto loading here I can actually see that's working right in there the little 2022 is showing up right there in my copyright notice so everything is working as it should and that's all it takes so we're getting the full year of the current date and we're putting that into the inner HTML of our year variable what is our year variable it's right here it's the span I'm getting the element by its ID there's the element the span element its ID is C here in my document and there we go and of course all of this is going to happen whenever the web page loads so that's all it takes to put that current year into the paragraph for my copyright notice thanks for hanging out with me